Living with a disability can be quite difficult, but as a reprieve, the Aniko project has for many years now been a symbol of hope, a symbol of opportunity for the disabled to climb up from a place of difficulty to reach their goals and aspirations. However, the economic challenges in the country have not spared the training center and now they can't operate at full capacity. We spoke to the Danuko Project Deputy Director, Mr. Godfrey Majonga, and he said the institution is facing serious challenges and is appealing for donations to ensure they continue offering life skills to people with disabilities. We have been going for now over 30, 38 years, uh, training and educating people with disabilities. We, we depend very much on welfare and donations and personal and organizational support. So we've, uh, um, we've been struggling as an institution. Mrs. Elizabeth Dekune, the principal of the Industrial Training College, say they have many income generating projects they can run to be self-sustainable, which, however, require capital injection. We've partnered with other companies to produce, especially the production units that deal with clothing and textiles. We have also made our own garments and marketed them. We need seed money. That's a problem. We don't have enough revenue to capacitate ourselves as an organization. The headmaster of Daniko Secondary School, Mr. Tawanda Musariri, added that they needed more donor funding and bemoaned the late disbursement of funds from the Basic Education Assistant Module, BEAM. We are receiving a lot of learners with disabilities from all over the country uh, who are referred to this special school through the school psychological services. And when they come here, uh, we cannot deny them a chance to learn, but we are facing a problem as far as their welfare as well as their feeding is concerned. Because what we are receiving from uh, BIM through, I mean from social welfare uh, through the facility of BIM is far much less than what they should be getting. The boarding master, Mr. Jonathan Nehama, expressed gratitude to well-wishers, adding that access to food and essentials such as wheelchairs are the major requirements that the institution is failing to provide for, for those housed at the school. Former First Lady Grace Mugabe was patron of the Daniko Project since 2007. Rumbizai Takawira ZBC News, Harare.